This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Bellevue Plastic Surgeons. It's a new day. There. When we talk about cosmetic procedures, people often think it's something that mostly women are interested in, but studies show the number of men getting cosmetic procedures has increased by more than 120% in the last 15 years. Joining us now is Dr. George Marichon from Bellevue Plastic Surgeons to explain some of the services that men seek most often. It's great to see you. Thank you. So, it, in some cases, it's the same as women, but there are some, some differences. Right, right. Why do you think men are going for cosmetic procedures more often, though? Well, uh, than I, they used to, I should say. I figured it's Father's Day is coming up, so it's time to give dads about five minutes and here. We'll so give dad a little <laughs> but, attention. Uh, I think what's what's going on is that since we talk more about these type of procedures in women, and and the wives kind of pushing their husbands too, because I, many times I ha I do surgery on on on, on the lady, and then. She goes few home weeks, and gets her few husband. months later, the husband shows up, <laughs> you know, to have something done. You have a, a graph here that kind of yeah. shows us a bit about this. Can you um, explain yeah. what this is? So this is uh, the statistics from uh, 2011, uh, looking at the top five cosmetic procedures in women and men. Mm -hmm. and, and pretty much, you know, in women, breast and liposuction, you see, is the top two procedures. In men, they too, is liposuction and gynecomastia, which is the so-called man boobs uh, that men want uh, removed. Right. So, uh, so uh, th these are the popular procedures in both uh, men and, and women. And, and but to me, even this way, you know, uh, men, they're about 10% of uh, most practices. And, and, and uh, what we see that uh, about 800,000 surgeries done in, in, in women and, and uh, only about 80,000 or so in, in men. Okay. So 10%. Yeah. So um, let's take a look at some of the work that you've done. Mm -hmm. And although, you know, I know that uh, Jerry Seinfeld mm -hmm. made this all fav uh, famous with the man's ear and whatnot, <laughs> that this is actually a very serious problem. You it know, is. It young is. boys who ha yeah. have uh, extra weight in their chest and who are, you know, made fun mm -hmm. of and that kind of stuff um, can yeah. go through the surgery and you say it's a one time fix. One you time can fix. Take this fat out and be done with yeah. it. Yeah. And this gentleman is uh, he's in his. Uh, mid-twenties and and obviously would never take his shirt off in a public place because right. he feels very uh, self-conscious and uh, I did the vasal liposuction on him uh, just approaching through the lateral areola and the armpit so uh, he still kind of skin is getting better I didn't have to do any skin excision on him which is uh, uh, most people probably would do on excision and not having hair on his chest you know having scars you know that right. that's, that's probably as debilitating as the condition itself. So we try to avoid to put any scars on Both the chest. Both of those, of that course. Show. But he must yeah. have felt a lot better oh, and his, more uh, confident his, afterwards. His, his, uh, yeah, his, it's hard to go through happy. life as a guy and never be able to take your <laughs> right, shirt off. Okay, right. let's see what's yeah. next. And uh, this is a, not a severe condition. Uh, young man in his 20s again, you know, that's relaxed and that's his tensing his muscles, he's flexing his pecs. Mm -hmm. You see, you know, it doesn't change because that's breast tissue on top of the muscle and this right. is after it's been removed and uh, again flexing the, the packs you know you, you don't see any distortion also and the areola gets smaller and a little bit darker because you know they stretched out you know with the breast tissue right. there and so uh, yeah so but this, that looks uh, very normal yeah, on and the there's bottom. no scars you know that you can actually see on on him so, so that's one good thing about yeah. hair on your chest right yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> now what are we looking uh, at, a little, looking at that, a little bit more body sculpting on somebody who doesn't look too bad to start with but he wanted his muscles to be shown a little bit better mm -hmm. and uh, with the vaso liposuction and, and uh, contouring uh, we can really sculpt out uh, the rectus muscle and, and the obliques on the rib cage uh, uh, there and then and, and the lower muscles of the abdomen so, so uh, also I did his, uh, his chest because even though it looks like he doesn't have much of a gynecomastia he did have some and it was mo mainly breast tissue mm -hmm. that again took us with the same tiny incision on the lateral areola and uh, so and a little bit of liposuction for him okay so and it if defines you hadn't done muscle. that it would have been kind of out of yeah, balance yeah it would have right? been because you know he on the side i didn't bring that side view but the the nipple looks like it's a little bit sagging mm -hmm. looking down you know and and this way it's not right on the muscle so so he kind of got a six pack six pack and 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 his chest you know of course he's working out as you can tell right, but, it looks like he's in good yeah, shape to begin yeah. with and part of this is that we all have genetic pockets of fat that we could work out forever and ever and sometimes you're just going to have 
those little places right. that are troublesome, correct? Right. It's, uh, it's determined, you know, uh, hormonally too. Women tend to deposit on the on the hips, thighs, uh, men on the abdomen, mm -hmm. a little bit on the hips. Uh, I rarely do liposuction on, on, on men's thighs. I almost never have to do it. And women almost always. I'm totally jealous so. <laughs> of men about that one thing. Okay, let's take a look at these pictures. This is um, another fellow just, uh, just uh, this was actually with, uh, just liposuction of his abdomen and, mm -hmm. and uh, he didn't have much of a uh, of a uh, love handle, but you know, just brought it in line for right. him and defined his uh, back muscles a little bit in the lower back. Did you so, have to do yeah. um, any skin tightening? No, no, just he's just tightened up uh, naturally. Yeah, he's uh, he's forty some year old. You know, he's oh, actually bless looking his heart, pretty good. So yeah, good for him. All so, right, yeah. let's see <laughs> <laughs> see the next set mm -hmm. of pictures. Okay, this is a uh, this is uh, often a neglected area. You know, you do a lot of things on the face and and the ears. Especially in men, the ear, you know, short hair or bald, and the ears stick out. Mm -hmm. So, doing a setback, autoplasty, pulling the ears back. Actually, what amazes me about this is like, if you look at the post stuff photo, and it looks like his IQ went up by 10 points. You it's know, just, it just, it they look different, terrific. they look better, well, you know, <laughs> they look are, smarter. People get know? very, just very the self conscious <laughs> about right. that. They really do, and so. kids do, and so it's amazing yeah. what kind of results yeah. you can get. Dr. So. Marishan, thank you very much. We'll have You're a welcome. link to Bellevue Plastic Surgeons online after the show, and Dr. Marishan will be back after a quick break to join our Wellness Wednesday Ask the Docs panel. We'll see you in just a minute.